Hello guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to be talking about Philip Zania and Andrei Zvechnikov, and who I'd rather have, who do I think is the best prospect out of the two. Now, there are slotted to be the best two forwards coming out of this draft. Close behind them is Brady Kachuk, but they're basically, they're the best two forwards slated to go second and third overall in the draft. Now, in my opinion, I'm going to be putting my, who I think will be the better prospect. This isn't like a really mock draft that's going to be coming up in the future. These are who I would pick two or three and who I actually think is the better prospect out of the two. And I want to make this video just because I thought both of them were so close, so close in talent level that I wanted to share my opinions on who I thought was better. And again, when I say some guy out of these two, whether I say it's a Zeninia or Zvechikov, it really doesn't mean that they're too much better. These guys are so even talent-wise, so even statistically-wise, that isn't too off, far off. If you put Zeninia as number two, that's fine. If you put Zvechikov at two, that's fine. They're both really even guys and really isn't far off if you get pick another guy second or another guy second it's really both of them are pretty even so it doesn't really matter too much where you put them now the big question is who will go second and who will go third overall of course carolina with the second pick and montreal canadians with that third pick now before i just say out of the blue let's just look through all the stats so let's start with Svechnikov. Zvechikov, right winger, 18 years of age, the Russian-born stud. He, most people agree. Most people are putting him as the second overall in their mock drafts. It's pretty much a consensus, consensus point. A lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, have him second overall and Zinania third. In the OHL this season with the Barry Colts, he has 40 goals, 32 assists, 70, 72 points, and he's 25th in the points leaders. Now, he only, I think he played like 44, 44, 45 games, which is about 20 games less than everybody else. He played some playoffs, but he missed a few games there. So even though he he's only 25th in the points department, he's still doing really, really good, especially missing all those games. Imagine if he had 20 more games, he would realistically get 85, maybe even 90 points. If he didn't miss those games, then he would have gotten them. And that's a big thing. I think that's even though he missed those games, it's a match got if he played them would look a lot more better at least the points department. So while he may not look too good in the points leaders, he looks a lot better with the points per game and the points averages. But in the World Junior Championship this season, he had five games played, five assists for five points. No goals, interestingly, but in the World Junior Championships, he was a point per game. Pretty decent there. Now let's flip over to Philip Zidania. Left winger, 18 years old, from the Czech Republic. He's slated to be that third overall guy. Of course, as I said before, Alex Zvechikov is slated to be second by a lot of people. So a lot of people have Zidania as their third overall pick in the next upcoming 2018 draft. Now left wing, 18 years old, from uh, Czech Republic, Philip Zidania, with the Halifax Mooseheads in the QMJHL this season, had 57 games played, 44 goals, 38 assists, for 82 points, 7th in the league in league scoring. Now the KMJHL, at least overall, at least from the points wise and the top guys, is a little bit less scoring than the OHL. Not too much, but it was a little bit more of a gap between them. Seventh overall, he had 82 points, is a little bit less goal, but a little bit less points than there was in the OHL. So still, it's a little bit more about the league thing. But seventh in the league at 18 years old, a lot of those guys are like 19, 20, 21. So he's probably one of the younger guys in that league, still producing the best on his team as well. He was doing fantastic, and he's really made a name for himself as well there in the QMJHL this season has definitely proved himself as a top three guy. I think so. He definitely has a talent level and he's shown it in the QMJHL. He's played fantastic there. Some of these top guys come to the American leagues. Some of these top European guys come to the American leagues and come to the uh, come to these leagues like the CHL and go to the QMJHL. And sometimes they just underperform. But Philip Zania, if anything, has taken advantage of that time and become better in the QMJHL. That's something that not a lot of players do. Not a lot of prospects from Europe do come over and play better in the QMJHL. But Philip Zania is able to do that. And he's done very well with that throughout the whole season. He's been consistent and he's just been great in whatever game he's played. It seems like. Like, he's just been very, very good, very, very solid throughout the whole thing, and really made him name himself with the Halifax Mooseheads. And it's worth mentioning in the World Junior Championships this season with the Czech Republic, he had seven games played, seven goals, one assist. Pretty much the opposite as Philip or Andrzej Zvechikov. Philip Zidania was doing fantastic goals wise. He was probably one of the best players in the World Junior Championships this season. He was amazing. He seemed like a powerhouse out there in the Czech Republic. He was just getting everything done. He seemed like he was an, on a whole other league above all the teammates he was on. He was just fantastic. And with seven goals and seven games played with that assist as well. He just looked amazing about that World Junior Championships. I got to see a lot of him there. He was just amazing in a class of, of his own. He looked fantastic. 
And I'm going to admit I've watched more of Zidania than Zvechkov over the years, even though I haven't seen tons of both of them, I have seen a lot more Zidania than I have Zvechnikov. So Zidania, I know a little bit more of him than I would Zvechnikov, so just keep that in mind. But even with saying that, I've seen the highlights of Zvechikov, and I gotta say, these guys look pretty evenly good, pretty evenly fantastic talent-wise. They both look like they're gonna be franchise wingers for whatever team they go on, and it's gonna be fantastic. I mean, whatever team is gonna get them, are gonna be very happy. Zane is gonna be an amazing winger for probably Montreal if they go that route, and for for Carolina, they get Zvechikov, it's gonna be fantastic. Both of these guys, I don't, I'm not really gonna give the advantage to either of them, because they both are very good, very creative, and very amazing talent-wise. They can just do stuff that you've never seen before, never really seen before on these guys, and these guys are just brilliant, they're fantastic, they're able to get stuff done, and both of these guys have impressed me for just whatever I watch them, it seems like they're just doing something new, and both of these guys impressed me both, and both of these guys are looking to be fantastic, and had to have fantastic careers in the NHL. I think both of them will be ready to play next season. But as I said before, Zidania is looking to go third, and eventually I'm going to go in, looking to go second. But again, don't be surprised if there's another surprise coming up in the NHL draft. Remember last season, I pegged, I just pegged slightly, I slightly pegged Nolan to go first overall instead of instead of Nico. But the New Jersey Devils picked Nico Heischer first overall, and I was a little bit surprised about that. I thought they're going to go Nico or Nolan Patrick, but don't expect, don't, but expect a little bit of a surprise here potentially. I mean, Carolina could just move down, and the other team could get it, good that give that second pick. But don't be surprised if Carolina picks Zidania, guys. I think either or would fit very well for the team. But don't be surprised if Carolina just sees a little bit more in Zidania than they would Zvechnikov. But even with Zidania going second or Zvechnikov going third, it wouldn't be that big of a surprise, guys. I think most people can admit both of these guys are on a pretty even playing field talent wise skill wise i think both of these guys can make a name for himself for second overall i think both of these guys deserve to be a second overall pick it's just that who will go first or who will go second technically they're both battling for that second spot and I think that puts a team like Montreal in a good spot, even though they aren't second overall. They get a third overall pick, let's say, so Vachnikov drops to number three. That's still a fantastic player, and Arg, you can make a case for him being better than Zania. So, whatever Montreal gets, it's still going to be a fantastic player, maybe even be better than the second overall pick. Montreal is in a good space right there, because really, third overall pick... Could not isn't really that much, or at least that much better than, or that much worse than a second overall pick. So there isn't really too much of an advantage of having that second overall pick this season because both of those guys can make a name for himself for second overall. We'll have to see how their careers play out, but both of those guys are looking to be fantastic. So it isn't that much of a drop down from second to third this season. But that being said, I like both of these guys, but the title at hand is, in my opinion, who is the better prospect. And from the guy I've seen more, from the guy who has impressed me more, I believe that Zidania, I just had that gut feeling. Zidania, even though it might be not be too much of a jump, I do feel like Zidania will at least have a slightly better career, slightly better, I guess, talent level than, Z than Zvechnikov. I have that gut feeling about Zidania, and I feel like he's really, really going to turn out. Just from what I've seen, what I've seen from that talent level, man, it's amazing. And Zidania just keeps impressing me. Whenever I watch him, even though I haven't seen too much of him, I just whenever I get to see him, whenever I get to see him on the ice, he just does something special. He does something that I've never even seen before from him. And he just keeps impressing me more every time I see him. And for that, it's Zidania, I think, is would I would rather have him than Zvechikov. But of course, that's my opinion. Well, these guys are pretty even. So when I say I'd rather have Zidania, it's not by that much. These Both these guys are probably going to be very, very great players in the NHL. Here's hoping, because both of them look fantastic. So really no offense if you have Zvechnikov over Zidania, because really that can, you can make a great case for that, and I might agree with it, but I think that Zidania just has a better skill set, better overall ability than Zvechnikov. That's my just my opinion. I believe that I'd rather have Zidania than Zvechnikov, but again, if you pick Zvechnikov second overall, that's not anything against you, because a lot of people have, and a lot of people will. But of course, we can't definitively say who's better right now, because of course, they haven't even been drafted yet, so we have, we'll have to wait and see, but it's going to be very interesting to see the brawl between these two guys, even though it's not a first and second overall pick brawl, it's kind of interesting to see a brawl between the second and third overall guys, if that ends up happening. It's going to be interesting to see how these both, got, both these guys play out, and who will be kept, become, and who will become the better player throughout their careers. It's going to be interesting to see, just looking back on all of it.
But here's both been, both of these players are fantastic in the NHL. They both have elite potential, in my opinion. Both of these guys are looking great. And here's hoping they both have careers, because let's be honest, they both have the talent level to do so. So that is going to be it for today, guys. Guys, don't make sure to like and subscribe. Let's share with your friends if you have. And tell me down below what you think. Who do you think is better? Who would you rather have? Is it Vetchnikov or is it Who do you think is the better prospect? I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.